Hello guys, what's up? I'm Surish Designer. Today we want to talk about how we can model simple kitchen. So uh, at first I'm going to convert my model unit to the centimeter for higher accuracy in modeling. So uh, I'm going to draw the rectangle from the origin. A rectangle about, uh, about some type of 60 point, for example, 260 like this uh, and I and why I choose the 60 for the depths because the standard depths of the cabinets is about 60 centimeter I'm gonna extrude it about 90 centimeter like that uh, actually all of the cabins have 10 centimeter for the foot so uh, I'm gonna copy the line for the 10 centimeter First work in designing cabinet is the uniting. So I'm going to divide units at first. I'm going to click on this line and choose it. So I'm going to click on the move and I press control for copy process. So I'm going to copy about uh, some doors, for example, 50 for each side like that. And I come to this place and I copy another line about 50 like this and another 50 I need or for example 40 like that and another 40 like that and in this place I can create some type of lines is very useful in kitchen like this for example, Tony, like that. All right, and now I'm gonna create the upper cabinet. For this reason, I'm gonna click on it, Control, and I'm gonna copy in some number about 60. For this work, I'm gonna choose Tape Measure Tool, and on the blue axis, like that, I type 60 like this and I choose all of my model I press move press control on my keyboard copy process is enabled and now I'm gonna copy this up so in this place I'm gonna remove all of these lines as you know upper cabinets have lower dips than downer cabinets for this reason I'm going to reduce the uh, depth of the cabin about 30 like that and I'm going to divide the parts uh, completely parallel with down parts for this reason I'm going to copy about 50 another copy 40 and from this side again I'm going to repeat it I'm gonna copy of it like that. I press this line 50, another 40, and for this place, I'm gonna create some type of doors like this. So, after all of these works done, now time for creating the doors. So, I'm gonna select all of it and click on it and create a group. Now I know where's my doors and openers. I draw the first rectangle. I click on the first rectangle and I convert it to the component. So uh, I'm going to copy of it in all of these unit parts like that. And again, like this. Like this. And another like this so uh, i'm gonna rotate it like that copy rotate move it to this place with a scale i change the uh, scale of my doors and units like that now time for copy these models for downer cabinets like this and change the scale of it and I'm gonna 
copy this for displaces change the scale again and I copy like that another copy like this and I change the scale like this so all of these rectangles is a one component so I'm gonna edit one of them and you can see at the same time all of them change quickly I set the 1.6 centimeter for all of these cabins and this is our cabinet very simple and easy you can change the colors I come to the color named and I'm gonna give rosy brown for these doors like that and another color like purple for these units like this only we need some type of plane for cabinets and I'm going to draw this rectangle height is about 4 cm and I'm going to take it upper like that or I can don't adjust it so another color I will give like this and I convert it to the group so I change these character positions to this place and as you can see we have this cabinet design very simple and easy and quick another thing we have is the uh, follow me object actually I choose the line I draw some lines in this endpoints like that at the end I'm going to draw some rectangle from this place on blue axis if the coordinates let me like that about 10 centimeter to 2 centimeter triple click on it all of these lines and planes selected hold shift on your control keyboard and I repeat it again after that you select all of it hold shift on your keyboard double click on this plane and now only lines selected for us I click on the uh, follow me option and it says click a profile to extrude along the pre-selected pass I'm gonna click on this rectangle like that and give it the material so this is our cabinet I hope you enjoyed this video like and subscribe do not forget it I see you very soon and goodbye